Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Trading Secrets, this channel is for entertainment purposes only. For those who do not know, my name is Ali, I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, economics, business and law. Through this channel I'll be providing some stock analysis and a quick update on the Million Dollar Challenge. So if anybody's not aware of this, this is a journey of an investment of $1,000 to a return of $1 million over a period of three years using a strategic or compound return investing. So the objective is try to get 201 trades, each with an average return of 3.5%. It's not 201 consecutive trades, we do take into account losses. So for further details about how to join us for less than that, less than $9 a month, information is available in the description below. In today's video, we're going to be looking at MMA team at materials and the shocking news of the one for 100 reverse stock split plus reactions. We're also going to be looking at the latest MMTLP Congress updates, which seem to be progressing quite well. And also having a review of the earnings for Netflix, which was an excellent beat. So before we get started, let's have a look at what's happening in the market. So first headline here from Bloomberg, the US stocks are pushing higher uh, as an upbeat mood is prevailing. So Tesla, IBM are to report and we have had good earnings for Netflix. Netflix, and we can also see here from uh, the Wall Street Journal stock market today the indexes continue to climb fresh numbers from AT&T and uh, obviously Netflix jumps and tes uh, Tesla results are due very soon and I think they should be uh, quite important for the market so uh, in another post with regard to the news in, in terms of short selling uh, what unusual whales have posted here is that Chinese regulators uh, are reportedly asking funds to restrict short selling of stock index futures. So there has been a little bit of a bounce in China-based stocks. And what I've stated here in response to this post, tagging in Gary Gensler, the SET and FINRA, it is now over to you. And let's see if you can make any moves to protect retail investors. So let's now have a look at the net, uh, Netflix earnings. So they, they posted the earnings earlier and the earnings per share was $2.11, missing the expectations of $2.22. However, uh, the good news here is revenue was $8.83 billion, beating the expectations of $8.71 billion, and that is a, a key headline. Uh, and another very significant uh, aspect of the earnings is they added 13.12 million new subscribers, well above the expectations of 8.91. Uh, million subscribers. So let's now finish off by having a quick summary of the overall earnings. So if we move down to number three, we can see here that Netflix now has a total of 260 million global subscribers. So revenue was an exceptional beat and it's also looking exceptionally clear that Netflix has won the streaming wars, making it the clear leader in the industry. And going forward, Netflix also appears to be the main beneficiary as the streaming industry is now increasing prices, the consolidating platforms, cutting spending and renewing the focus on licensing so uh, great news overall here for Netflix and we also saw a tremendous bounce in the share price let's now have a look at the news from Meta Materials regarding the reverse stock split and what I posted earlier also tagging in George is that there obviously we know that George previously indicated that there will be no reverse stock split in Meta Materials of he has now left the company but and what we can see now is that the board have agreed and a one for 100 reverse stock split the reason that they have stated for this uh, decision is to regain NASDAQ compliance. So in terms of the numbers, it's going to reduce the number of outstanding shares of common stock from approximately 564 million to 5.64 million shares, and also proportionally reduce the number of authorized shares in common stock from 1 billion to 10 million shares. So a huge um, reduction there. And obviously from my point of view, what has we have also seen previously with the uh, Mullen Automotive, MULN, markets do not generally respond positively to such adverse stock splits. And I, I think that has also been proven to be correct in terms of the share price today for Meta Material. So let's have a, go ahead and have a look at the um, reverse um, stock split news in terms of the press release. And what's stated here is um, the stock is therefore expected to begin trading on a split adjusted basis when the market opens on January the 29th. 2024 so not too long to go so five five days from uh, point of editing right now so the board has approved this decision and they are saying they have approved it on the basis and according to nevada law so um we're going to look at the obviously the the vote the, the vote that was uh, for the one th 35 to one and that obviously was voted against but it looks like what the board have done is made an executive decision using whatever loophole they could to get this through uh, so it states here every hundred shares of common stock are now 
outstanding prior to the effective time will be automatically reclassified into one share of common stock. So in the final part of the article, also confirmation, no fractional shares will be issued. So if you have any, those will be gone. Uh, in terms of the numbers, uh, we have also shared that in, in the uh, tweet. Well, basically, we're looking at from 564 million to 5.64 million, uh, reducing the number of authorized shares of common stock from 1 billion to 10 mi million shares. Uh, so that is the key summary of that. What we're now going to do is have a look at some of the key reactions. So let's now start by getting the first reaction from George and what he posted earlier is that he is struggling to understand the reasoning and the timing behind the latest decision from the board. He says also it is vital that shareholders receive clear, open communication now more than ever to make informed decisions. Your voice matters. So, but uh, as far as I'm concerned, it seems as though the decision has been made and uh, the shareholders voice and um, power is no longer being taken into account. And what uh, Swinger stated here, obviously he agrees with uh, George and he says, what is the point? The decision has been made. You have over 100,000 investors and their families bent over a barrel. Uh, the fact that you fired George still baffles him and many of the investors t today. So everybody was issued Series A <coughs> placeholders. Uh, obviously when that got traded, we're talking about MMTLP and became MMTLP non-voting rights. The Series B placeholder has voting rights MMAX and the new Series C has voting rights. So it looks like um, uh, basically uh, a, a little bit of manipulation there from the board. Uh, now let's get an angle on this from uh, Pro Street Art who, sta who stated here 100 for 1 reverse stock split contrary to the shareholders vote meaning that the board always intended to reverse stock reverse split uh, weigh more than the 35 to 1. Uh, we will have a micro flow and hedge funds just got bailed out. This is very very frustrating. 1 billion naked now is looking at 10 million, uh, million instead of 1 billion. So we do expect uh, the stock to be significantly shorted after this and um what um smokey has stated here is he's, he's posted something interesting in terms of uh series c preferred stock shares so we're going to have a look at that shortly <coughs> but what he stated here is he told us or he told the investors that they the board will carry out the reverse stock split no matter what the no vote was there just to force the entire share structure to be affected and now it gets cut up uh, so let's have a look at um, these classes then in terms of class C. So if we have a look at the uh, voting rights here, class A, class B, class C. Uh, so class C often has limited voting. Class A usually has the most voting power. So they've been quite clever uh, uh, and use this uh, as the, as the, as they have stated in the press release this classification of shares and what they have stated Nevada law to carry out this decision let's now focus on some of the reactions starting with guess who who posted earlier your entire board of directors should be fired seriously scrap the whole scrap the whole damn train wreck of a company and start over you had an army behind you before and now uh, you can bet that not one dollar would be wasted in MMAT when MMTLP was the resolution. So if they fixed MMTLP, uh, then MMAT would not have had the significant problems that it seems to be having now. So zero com confidence in the company, uh, compliments of the board, or should I say of the new board. And what Peter has stated here is this leaves him wondering the true intentions behind the decision is the true intention. Do they want to attract an insti institution's ASAP? Is this because they don't want to pursue an extension and don't have the new revenue to announce? Still waiting for news from the quarterly four earnings and which could get it closer to compliance uh, with regard to um, a smaller split ratio. Hopefully not, the, we'll have to see what happens there. Uh, so a little bit of a positive uh, post there from Peter, but what Dave has stated here is there is no point to worry about it anymore. The company is either on the QCIP of a major success or it's a total scam. All the shares will be worthless after the reverse stock split. So you need to make your own decision of buying, selling or holding. So he's riding it to all the way to zero. So not very promising there. And the final post I'm going to share with you is from Meta News, who stated what happened to the one for 35 reverse stock split? Why did the board make it uh, this figure to 100 instead of a 35 when the shareholders did not even approve one for 35? So <coughs> as far as I'm concerned, one of the reasons why the one for 100 happened is obviously the share price continued to decline. 
uh, it is now down quite significantly and um, the one the reason why they're doing the one for 100 is to maintain uh, compliance with nasdaq however i think what this is going basically going to do is um it's if it follows the same pattern as Mullen Automotive, it will still continue to go down uh, because markets do not respond positively to this kind of decision. So uh, it is a huge gamble in my opinion. And finally, let's have a look at MMTLP and the latest developments from Congress. So shout out again here to Don Fierce who stated, and we are off. So if you have a look at his schedule for Wednesday, we can see he had a number of bookings here scheduled in for 11, 1, 2, 3 and 4 p.m. Eastern time. So let's actually focus now on what it's looking like on Thursday, which is the important day. But what you can do is uh, try to make some calls to arrange, from, uh, arrange for some senators to be booked in. But uh, what you should do is contact uh, Marduk and uh, state, he stated here, please do not reach out to senators before DMing him first, provide the names and he will then let you know if they've been already engaged because we do not want duplication. But it certainly looks like a productive Thursday, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. All seem to be confirmed with only a few slots available. So again, great news from Don uh, there and hopefully we get a significant outcome from this. And remember the key date that we're looking at is uh, for Gary Gensler and um, obviously uh, Mr. Cook to give us a response before the first 31st of January. So not long to go now. I think we're looking at just one more week. So uh, finally, thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned.